Welcome everyone. In earlier videos, we have seen how to install, activate, and configure MicroStrategy Intelligence Server on a Linux machine. We would today see how to use a three-tier project source pointing to this intelligence server and create projects as per your business requirement. Linux project source is the one that is pointing to the Linux machine. Double-click on it. Go to the Administration icon. Configuration Managers and Database Instances. Before you create any project, you need to create database instances. So right click anywhere in the blank space, New, Database Instance, which would launch the Database Instance Editor. And here you may name your database instance. Let's say Cust DBI. Database connection type would be the platform that contains your database or the data warehouse. In my case, it is Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. Once selected, you may click on Database Connection, New. Select the DSN that points to the data warehouse, which is cust underscore DSN in my case. If you want, you can name the database connection and choose the default login for the database. You may then click on OK and OK again. Once the database instance is created, you may right click on the project source and select Create New Project. This would launch Project Creation Assistant. From where, you may click on Create Project. Name the project as per your business requirement. And since I'm using a customer database, I'll name it as customer analysis. If you want, you can add some description about the project. Leave all the other settings as default. Language is English United States, but if you want more options, you may click on the Languages tab and click OK. A new project would now be created with some default objects, and this might take a couple of minutes. Once a project is created, you may select tables from the warehouse catalog or click on OK to continue the project creation using the desktop editors. And now, under the Linux project source, I have the customer analysis project. To select the tables from the data warehouse, I may go to the schema menu, select architect, open it in the edit mode. Select the primary database instance for the project and click on OK. Once the architect interface is launched, you may go to the project tables view and look at the tables that are there in the data warehouse. As per your project requirement, you may drag and drop tables from the data warehouse. And if you would notice, as and when you drag and drop tables, automatically the attributes and facts would be created. This is because we have automatic schema recognition turned on. Let me also select customer taxation history, month, lookup table quarter, lookup table year, lookup table customer, lookup table product and if you can observe all the tables which are now in the project tables view are highlighted and in bold once you are done with your schema object creation you may click on save and update schema once the schema objects are created they would be listed in the schema objects and you may then create a report and see if your connection is all ready to begin with the analysis Let's say I create a blank report. Let's say I select year attribute, put it in the column, and customer attribute, because I want to see the revenue and cost generated per customer per year. I may then go to the public objects, metrics, and select revenue and cost metric. When I run the report, you can now notice that the data is being pulled from the data warehouse and you can begin with your analysis. 
You can then use MicroStrategy desktop interface to create various reports, documents, dashboards, and continue with your analysis. For a quick review, we have the MicroStrategy Intelligence Server on a Linux machine and MicroStrategy Desktop on a Windows machine. And we have created a three-tier project source that points to the Intelligence Server on the Linux machine. We are now creating the report and continuing with the analysis in the same setup. Hope all these videos were helpful to you and would help you in your real-time scenarios. Thank you.